Dave Clark from the campaign group Positive Money. David, welcome to the programme. What do you campaign for, first of all? We're, so we're campaigning for people to continue to have a free choice about um, how they access their money. At the moment, over 2 million people rely exclusively on cash for their day-to-day -day shopping. Um, we, did, we did a poll that found that 77% of people view having a, access to a free cash machine as essential to their lives. Um, so it's really important that we continue to provide this choice to people. And the real, really worrying news today is that for many communities, um, access to cash is becoming a thing of the past. 250 of these machines going every week. Why are they going? So it's about the way that ATMs are funded. When you go and withdraw money from a cash machine, your bank pays a small fee to the company that operates the machine. Link, which is the scheme that connects most of the ATMs, has come under pressure from banks to reduce the fee that they have to pay. Um, and, and that's led to a, banks making a, a less of a, a contribution to the overall network and the um, rapid race, pace of closures that we're seeing today. What should people do if they hear the cash machine in their neighbourhood is about to go? Is there anything they can do? We really want the payment systems regulator to step in and stop these closures. Um, the, the PSR's approach so far has been to wait and see um, whether communities will be affected by the changes. We've waited and now we're seeing that machines are closing at a record pace. So if, you're, if your experience is that um, cash machines are closing in your local area, get in touch with the PSR and let them know that you're unhappy about it. Uh, just to remind us again, what is the PSR? The, the payment systems regulator. Okay, so you contact the payment systems regulator and you say, I'm not happy. Um, from the work you do, what effect is, are these closures having on the day-to-day -day lives, particularly of the two million people who rely solely on cash? People have a lot of very legitimate reasons for wanting to use cash. People find it useful for budgeting. As your caller said before, it gives them control over their money. Um, also, there's people with particular um, circumstances, like those with mental health conditions, that find that having access to cash is really vital um, during a period of mental health crisis. People have these complex reasons, but they're all rational about why it's their preference is to manage their money in cash. If that opportunity is taken away from them, then it really is detrimental to their ability to manage their own money. David, thank you. David Clark from the campaign group Positive Money. Your experience welcome on 0345 60.